Researchers at Oregon State University are hoping we'll soon be seeing these conditions in the Cascades. It's the deep snow they are really interested in, so they can get snowpack measurements in the higher elevation. Nina Aragon is a graduate research assistant on the project, which relies on outdoor enthusiasts to collect those measurements, which can be tricky to get. But one of the big challenges with mountainous regions is that because of their remote nature and the complex terrain and the severe weather and hazards like avalanches, basically we can't put a lot of automated permanent um, weather station. And so we're really trying to get better estimates of how much water is stored up in our snowpacks. Researcher David Hill says while there are several snow stations on mountains, it's tough to get details about snowpack in the higher terrain. Participants in our project go out and measure snow pretty much anywhere, anytime. And that's uh, a great thing because these snow telemetry stations are not as many as we might like. Here's how you can help and become a citizen scientist, as Hill describes them. We are only asking people to measure snow depth, and so you can do that with a meter stick, you can do that with a measuring tape. Um, backcountry enthusiasts typically carry with them avalanche gear, and so they have an avalanche probe. Once you get the snow depth, you record it to an app on your phone called Mountain Hub. That information is sent right to people like David and Nina. So far, there have been close to 4,000 participants from all over the world recording data. Almost every continent we've had observations submitted from. Who's behind this research might be surprising. This project was funded by NASA to sort of engage the public, get the public interested in snow and water resources, and then also have our project kind of interact with other NASA programs related to snow. A research project that stretches to some of the highest peaks in the world. While you're out there recreating in the mountains, you can contribute to our understanding of water resources for downstream communities. Joe Ranieri, KGW News.